Adidas is one of the best brands to buy from this fall for the reason that you can get great shoes that will pair effortlessly with outfits for around $100. And don't just take it from me, you cannot go on a single Instagram mood board right now without coming across shoes like the Adidas SL72, the Samba, or the Gazelle. And honestly, for good reason, it's tough to beat, but the best part about being a sneakerhead right now is that there are so many brands that are trying to go for that number one spot. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over seven sneakers from seven different clothing brands with the goal that you will leave this video as a more stylish person. And if this is our first time meeting, my name is Bryce and I make videos about sneakers and fashion. So if that's of interest to you, then hit the subscribe button. It's free and it helps me out a lot. Anyways, there is like a four-way tie of Adidas sneakers that I absolutely love right now. And it's the Adidas Samba and the LT version, the Gazelle, as as well as the Adidas SL72. However, my favorite representation of a fall Adidas sneaker right now has to be this brown pair of Adidas Sambas. This is actually a women's colorway, so I did go up a full size on these. There's so many good things to say about the shoe, like the quality for the price. I really do think that they've increased the quality from regular Sambas. The color blocking is excellent. I think that this shade of brown, which is a nice chocolatey brown, really pairs well with the cream color stripes as well as the gum outsole. I know that talking about Sambas in 2024 isn't exactly groundbreaking stuff, but this colorway right here is extremely wearable, versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And for the outfit, I styled them with a Kith Corduroy jacket as well as the Gap 90 straight jeans. These are my favorite pair of baggy jeans to wear at the moment. Links will be in the description. Next up is the New Balance 1000. In my opinion, this is the most interesting sneaker from the brand right now. We originally saw these drop from Joe Fresh Goods in that eggplant and pink colorway. I ended up picking up the Ami Leandor colorway, which comes in this nice cream color as well as black. And the first thing that I noticed right away is the resemblance to like the Air Max 95 or the 97, as well as how comfortable these are. They're very, very comfy. They fit you to size and will run you around $150. And the best part is now that they have a bunch of fall ready colorways for you guys to choose from, whether it's a neutral gray or a green color. And similar to the Sambas, these are very easy to style. The silhouette itself is actually a little bit on the bulkier side, so I do think that they look best with sort of looser fitting baggy clothing, which is why I styled them with some baggy cargos and a knit sweater. Then we have the ASICS Gel 1130 in this olive colorway. As most of you will know, ASICS has had an incredible past few years. One of the highlights being their recent Kith Marvel collaboration that they had with their villain pack. And I'm sure we've all seen metallic and white mesh versions, so it's, so it's nice to see something in a more fall color palette. The start for me definitely has to be the gum outsole and the comfort on these. Now, you'll hear me talk about comfort a lot in this video, but this is easily the number one shoe. And a lot of people still will get on me about these looking like a dad shoe, but you guys gotta give it the times. These look great with outfits. I styled them with a vintage pair of Levi's as well as a varsity jacket. Now, I actually got these from Brown Shoes. They've actually sponsored today's video, and they're one of the best places to buy the year's most popular footwear. Shoes like the Adidas SL72, Vans New School, even Hoka. They have such a good variety as well, whether you need running shoes, something to dress up, casual, even boots for the fall. That's where I picked up these fresh pair of Tims. Can't wait to wear these this fall. And these beige hiking boots from their in-house brand, B2. Quality is excellent, by the way. But also these New Balance 1906R, which are easily one of my favorites to drop from New Balance. We all know that the Retro Mesh Runner is super popular at the moment, and they have a few different versions to choose from. Shipping is fast, returns are easy, and they have stores all over Canada, making it one of the best places to shop the most viral styles. So use the link in the description to check out some of the styles that I've mentioned so far, or check out brownshoes.com or brownshoes on Instagram to learn more. I promise they've got something for everybody. Next up, we have our one and only pair of Nikes on this list, which is the Air Max Sunder. I was so excited when these came out, especially in the colorways that they've dropped. And let me tell you something, despite how it looks, this is a perfect fall shoe. For the reason that they look excellent with olive cargos. They're like a cheat code, but the zipper shroud is also extremely versatile in the fall time. It can repel the elements. So let me know, do you think they look best with the shroud zipped down or all the way up? And if you're still a disbeliever, don't worry, they've come out with an all black version. This shoe right here, whether you think it's good or bad, represents Nike in 2025. I think that they're just gonna continue to retro some of their more iconic more interesting sneakers hopefully nike actually comes to their senses and makes new exciting silhouettes i think this shoe in particular is meant to mimic sort of the solomon and hiking shoe kind of vibe as this is obviously very reminiscent of that they'll run you around 180 bucks they're extremely comfortable and i can't wait to wear these more now this next shoe is extremely unexpected for people who have been regular viewers of the channel i've never actually featured a pair of sneakers from this brand before but i'm incredibly excited to do so this is the north face 
Glencliff Low. Now, I promise you, this shoe looks simple in nature, but is extremely cool looking on feet and close up. And given it's fall time, this shoe is perfect for anybody who lives in a climate where it rains a lot, like Vancouver or England, or it's great for somebody who's outdoorsy, but especially for those who sort of love that Gorb Course style. This shoe in function is very similar to a pair of Solomons. It's got a Vibram outsole, it's water repellent upper, and has a quick lacing system. And that's kind of how I styled these as well. I wore them with a pair of Nike ACG cargo pants, as well as a Uniqlo Block Tech Parka. One thing to note about these is they're around $160 and they do fit quite big, so I recommend going a half size down. Now, the next shoe on this list is the most affordable and it is the Puma Suede XL. I think this shoe perfectly represents one of my favorite trends in sneakers right now, which is that sort of chunky shoe trend. Um, we've seen this with the Vans New School as well as the Campus Double Zero, but there's just something about it. If you like to wear bag your pants, these shoes go so well with that sort of look. Plus the added cushioning that you're getting in the heel and the tongue makes them very, very comfortable. Overall, I'm just super impressed with Puma right now. I also went ahead and picked up the Puma Speed Cat, which in terms of the silhouette is very different, but I just love these. I grew up on these shoes. And as a true collector of shoes, I try to get something from all of the brands. And yeah, I just love these. They're also like a style challenge for me because wearing a pair of red sneakers is a little bit harder than it looks. Back to the Puma Suede though, you can get these at a ton of different places. They're only $85 and they come in some great colorways as well. There's an olive one floating around that I think looks excellent and will obviously go great in the fall time. But yeah, shout out to Puma. I think that they're doing really great stuff this year. So I hope that they're a bigger contender in 2025. Now this next shoe is one of the most controversial sneakers of the entire year. And it is actually my recommendation for the best fall shoe to get this year. And it is the Air Jordan 4 RM. This is the Nigel Sylvester colorway in the driveway gray and I really love these and I didn't think that I would. When I initially saw photos of these for the first time, I thought, hell no, I am a Jordan purist. I don't like any fusion Jordans. I don't like my retros touched at all. But I just kept seeing them. I saw them on feet and I just thought that they looked good. So I wanted to try them for myself. And the best part is they're only 160 bucks, which as far as Air Jordans go, that's actually a decent price. By the way, uh, the details on these is excellent. Even the box, they put so much attention into it. The texture of the driveway sort of print is, is really cool. They also came with a sticker pack on the inside. So let it be known that if you are also on the fence about the Air Jordan 4 RM and there's a colorway that you like, Trust me, I recommend getting them. They have the Bryce Kicks, a stamp of approval. Quality is good on these and uh, I'm excited to see what other interpretations of retros they have because uh, these really did get my attention. Thanks so much for watching. Big shout out to Brown Shoes for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to hit the links in the description if you're interested in shopping the shoes. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.